In this demonstration, we are logging in as a hiring manager, Martha Manager, in a Workday training environment. Martha wants to see more information about one of her open job requisitions. To do this, she can enter the job requisition number in the search bar. However, what if Martha doesn't know it? Let's help her search for all the job requisitions that are assigned to her as the hiring manager. Let's search by her supervisory organization. As a reminder, a supervisory organization groups workers into a management hierarchy. Workers are hired into jobs or positions associated with a supervisory organization. Martha can now see more information about her supervisory organization. From this page, she'll click the Staffing tab. There's a lot of staffing information on this page, with the first section showing positions with open job requisitions. Martha wants to locate a specific position the Service Center IT Coordinator Job Requisition. To do this, we can utilize filtering on the table. Let's filter so we are only viewing job requisitions that have Service Center in the name. To filter for this, we'll click into the Effective Job Requisition column. Next, we'll type Service Center so that we can see Service Center jobs. That narrowed the results significantly. Now that we have isolated the right job requisition, we can access it by clicking the specific effective job requisition hyperlink within the table. We are now in the job requisition workspace. As a reminder, we could have accessed this space directly if Martha had known the job requisition number and entered it via the search bar. But now that we're here, let me walk you through the page. On this page, you can see the recruiting start date, the target hire date, the primary location, the hiring manager, and the recruiter. You can also see at what stage candidates are in in the recruiting process. You can visualize this information by viewing the Candidates by Active Stage section. When you click on a stage, you can see percentages on the number of applicants dropped from consideration or who made it to the next stage. You will also see a Candidate Actions button, which will redirect you to the Candidate Grid to see additional application data. Next to the Candidates by Active Stage section is the Candidates by Source section. Here, you can see how candidates found out about the job requisition. There are a few key tabs here that I want to show you, with the first being Candidates. The Candidate Grid displays all candidate information, including what stage they are in, the application date, the candidate's current title and company, and the source, or how the candidate learned about the job. From here, you can select candidates to take an action on. You could move forward or decline, send a message to the candidate, or take other action using the Related Actions button. You can also see the Awaiting Me column tells you exactly what is pending your review or action. We can see that Martha has a screening task that is awaiting her action for the candidate named Taylor Time. She can select Screen and either move Taylor forward in the process or disposition them. 
There are other subtabs besides the Overview subtab to check out. You can click Contact to review candidate contact information, Questions to view the answers to internal or external questionnaires on the job application, Experience to view the candidate's experience, and Resumes to view their resume. This helps you compare candidates within the same Workday page. What I just showed you is the Candidates tab. Let's look at the Details tab next. The Details tab shows all the requisition details and hiring requirements. It's helpful to view this tab because the hiring manager can see the number of job openings for this job requisition, like if the positions are filled, compensation information for the job, and an overview of the business process history. Finally, I want to show you the Job Postings tab. The Job Postings tab is where you can post or unpost a job and view where the position has already been posted. You can take action on a job posting using the Actions button. In this case, when I click the Actions button, I can do things like update the job posting or view the job posting details. Wow, that felt like a lot. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about viewing the Job Requisition Workspace.